Hey, Blockchain Visionaries, it's George Levy. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about altcoins. This is actually one of the most popular questions that I receive on a regular basis as people are getting into the cryptocurrency space. If you're not familiar with me, I'm George Levy. This is the George Levy channel, and I invite you to hit subscribe so you can stay in tune and find out exactly every time I publish a new video. I publish every single week, and they're instructional videos which you will find very valuable, like this one today, where I'll be telling you exactly what altcoins are. This video is based on a lesson from my course, The Basic of Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, and NFTs, which I did in full collaboration with Joan Amengual. It's an excellent course and it's available free. All you need to do is go down to the description and you'll find a link where you can actually enroll and take the entire course for free. I hope you find this video valuable and uh, you're going to learn what altcoins are. In this lesson, we will be talking about Bitcoins versus altcoins. By this point, you know what Bitcoin is, and you also know what cryptocurrencies are. Well, what are altcoins? I'm going to make it very, very clear for you. And in fact, I'm actually going to take you on a very short field trip to actually let you see the difference between Bitcoin and altcoins. To make it very, very easy for you to understand, I want to point out that Bitcoin is the largest market cap cryptocurrency, but it was also the first cryptocurrency. And before there were all other cryptocurrencies, there was Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the first decentralized cryptocurrency that ever existed. And as such, it stands on its own. There's Bitcoin. Every other cryptocurrency you hear about is an altcoin. So there's Bitcoin and everything else is an altcoin. So when you hear about Ether or you hear about Litecoin or you hear about Ripple or you hear about Dash or you hear about Monero or any other cryptocurrency, Shiba Inu, any other cryptocurrency, those are all altcoins. Bitcoin stands on its own. What I'm going to do right now is I am going to take you to a very popular website, which you should become aware with, which is CoinMarketCap.com. Let's go there. We are now at a website called CoinMarketCap and the address for this website is CoinMarketCap.com. Dot com. As of the moment that I'm recording this lesson, what you are seeing is a visual of all the cryptocurrencies in the cryptocurrency market. So what CoinMarketCap does is it enables you to track the entire cryptocurrency market. So let me take you around so you can see some of what you can find. For example, within CoinMarketCap, you can see that as of the moment that I'm recording this lesson for you, there are currently 18,337 different cryptocurrencies and if you see Bitcoin is just one of them so Bitcoin is one cryptocurrency among 18,337 different cryptocurrencies other things that you can find at coinmarketcap.com include for example the entire market cap of all these cryptocurrencies together so what you see is that the market cap as of today of the entire cryptocurrency market is $1.8 trillion or over $1.8 trillion. You can also see how much in cryptocurrencies was traded in the last 24 hours. All this information is available for you at coinmarketcap.com. Now, I want to clarify one topic that we were talking previously about coins versus tokens. As you can see right now, we have all these cryptocurrencies and you find that the number one cryptocurrency is Bitcoin. The number two cryptocurrency is Tether, uh, Ethereum. But I want to point out something for you because you can actually sort them between coins and tokens. And as I mentioned, a coin has its own blockchain. Let's do that right now. So if I am within CoinMarketCap.com, I can actually choose within a filter and I can filter out the cryptocurrencies between coins and tokens. Let's do first coins. And what you will find is that within coins, you will find Bitcoin and Ethereum. Bitcoin and Ethereum have their own blockchain. However, if I go back to the filter and I change instead of coins, I look at tokens, you will find that Bitcoin and Ethereum are no longer there. However, you can find Shiba Inu. And as I mentioned, Shiba Inu is a token that's created on top of Ethereum. So this is a very, very important lesson that I want you to understand. The cryptocurrency market is constantly growing. And if you go to a site, at this case, coinmarketcap.com, you can see how many cryptocurrencies are available. In fact, by the time that you are actually seeing this lesson, this number may be even higher. I just want you to understand that Bitcoin is just one cryptocurrency and everything else in the entire cryptocurrency market is an altcoin. And that's the key lesson that I want you to take out of all this. In Bitcoin, there's Bitcoin and everything else is an altcoin. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm George Levy. We're changing the world one blockchain at a time. See you next time.